everyone, I'm Stacy Salinas, Director of Financial Aid at Dominican College. What we're about to take a look at is a sample financial aid award letter. Please know that this award letter or award offer will vary student by student, but we do do our best to meet each student's need as best as possible. The financial aid offer that was sent to you, it breaks down all the financial aid eligibility that you've qualified for for the 21-22 academic year. We're gonna help you understand based on the awards given what your true out-of-pocket expense is going to be. Our starting number is $45,565, which includes a room and board expense of $14,020. Tuition is $30,600, for a student that is taking 12 to 17 credits, and that's per year. In addition, we charge $430 registration fee per semester, which brings us to $860. There's usually a freshman orientation fee that also comes along. In total, the estimated charges come to $45,565. That's your starting number. In this award offer, you will see different categories of aid. It's important to understand what a grant is, what a scholarship is, and what a loan is. Grants and scholarships do not get repaid back. That's money awarded and goes directly onto your bills. Loans are money borrowed, and repayment typically begins six months after you either drop below six credits or graduate from the college. What we're gonna do here is break down the awards given to help you understand what your true out of pocket expense will be. Here we have listed your admission scholarship awarded on an annual basis of $17,000. In addition, we listed your grant need, again, on an annual basis of $4,500. You were awarded a federal Pell Grant of $6,345, as well as an additional federal grant of SEOG for $1,000. We've estimated your state grant, which is known as TAP, to be $4,033 as well annually. Your total grants and scholarships come to $32,878. Your direct cost as a resident student on campus for the 21-22 academic year is sitting at $12,687. Keep in mind, you were awarded federal loans, which are backed by the federal government. Should you decide to borrow both of these loans, that would bring in a net total of $5,444 to go against that original direct cost balance. That leaves you with an estimated balance for the academic year of $7,243. There are various options to help cover that out-of-pocket expense. There are Parent PLUS loans, which are loans in a parent's name. They do require a parent to have good credit. There are additional loans known as alternative loans. There are various lenders that offer these loans. We do highly encourage, if you go this route, obtain a co-signer that has good credit to lock in a lower interest rate. And lastly, there is what's called a monthly payment plan. Our Bursar's office works with a third-party vendor that will break up your monthly payment plan over the course of 10 months. The payment plan is interest-free. The options that are given, you don't only have to choose one. The way I always counsel families is I advise them to really sit down and focus on what is reasonable as a family. How much can you truly come out of pocket each month? Calculate that out over 10 months and deduct that from your estimated balance due for the year. Whatever that remaining balance will be, then I would say go to either a Parent PLUS loan or a student alternative loan. And the reason being is obviously they're loans and those loans have interest rates. Our office phone number is 845-848. 7821 and our financial aid email is financial.aid at dc.edu. We are available Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 5 p.m. and we'll be able to help you with any additional questions you may have.